Hey guys, welcome back to my series on how to be a streamer slash YouTuber. Today, I'll be showing you guys how to record your gameplay videos for free um, on Xbox specifically, alright? So if you own an Xbox and you've been trying to record your videos, this is a video very specific to you. Um, and this will be the free way of how to do that and I'll also give you a cheap way and a very expensive way and there is pros and cons to each one but I'll be just going through the each way how much it will cost you approximately and working from there so first things first the free way now the free way has its pros and cons what you're gonna have to do is go to press the middle button go to your settings and then go to your preferences and then down to broadcast and capture now once you get in there you're gonna to want to go over to capture and allow game captures then you're gonna want your duration to be either two minutes or 45 minute seconds mine is 45 seconds because for what I use it for it's just for short clips if you're doing short clips just for like one cool play uh, like say in Call of Duty or Fortnite, 45 seconds should do you. If you want to have a little bit more leeway, two minutes is fine. Just know that this will eat up your space um, for this option quite fast. So if you're doing like small tutorials, two minutes, not too bad. But 45 seconds is good for small clips. Now, automatically upload captures by me, I highly recommend you have on. I'm almost going to say it's a must for what we're doing here. And then also you're going to want to go to game capture clip uh, resolution and have it at 1080p now 720p looks good it's called the resolution it's how many pixels are on the screen how many little squares make up the picture 720p is good uh, if you're looking on a phone nowadays but if you're looking on a computer or a TV it just doesn't it, it's not good enough five minutes it lets you record up to instead of two minutes but 1080p is almost getting left in the dust now at this point in time with 4k video coming out I highly recommend that you do 1080p please just do 1080p now last but not least capture location for this option we're going to be doing internal and then I'll come back here and show you what happens when I do external and the benefits of doing that so internal capture so by now I should be dropping in a game I'm gonna just do some basic bland stuff I'm gonna go over here and farm and I'm gonna build uh, some things and then let's just pretend I go like this oh my gosh I found a llama I want to clip the fact that I found a llama because this is so crazy I find the llama right and then all of a sudden I see what's in it I look I pick up all the items and I'm like oh my gosh this is the best day ever and I press the middle button and hit X at the bottom left hand corner it says record that so if I were to do that really fast I go it'd be done so I don't have to uh, stay in there long. So it's literally middle button X and or guide button X and you can record that. Now you also have capture options. You can click down here, click capture options. You can change record from now up to two minutes. So I can click record the next two minutes for me. Or I can go and record what happened from the last two minutes behind me. Um, now this takes a second for it to upload to the Xbox. So you can't get the... Uh, the actual capture instantaneously like you can if you go down here over to broadcast recent captures and my re most recent capture will be up here literally a minute ago I'll show you guys I'll play it now you can see it said uploading like 24% so this is literally me a second ago um, and you can see it's fairly good quality it's quite good quality it's 1080p I think it's running around 30 frames per second or something like that and it looks pretty good like it's acceptable for definitely acceptable for YouTube and it's the exact same clip I took 45 seconds ago um, or a few seconds ago now you have to be quick with it because you don't want it to get cut off as you can see the video cut off a little bit earlier than I would have liked it to but pretty much just right that's why 45 seconds works for me now we're gonna go back and as I said, if you press middle button and go down to recent captures, it's going to say right there, I click play, it's going to say 60% uploaded. So it's not fully uploaded. Once it's fully uploaded, you'll have access to it. So 
you're going to go back to the main part and click the back button for capture options here and you can go manage captures now you can edit the video right on xbox on the xbox whatever imaging so this is a video i took uh we'll say i took yesterday right here this is just a black ops video for example nothing too fancy just a, a kill and I can go to more actions and I can edit and upload studio and you can upload it straight to YouTube from here I'm not gonna be doing that I don't use this if you have no other choice that's definitely if you don't have a PC this is definitely a good way to do it you can do your voiceovers crop add some little bit of effects etc trim all that great stuff all right but I don't recommend you go about doing it like that so this is a clip that I recorded earlier and it's just me melting kids with this AUG. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. I have my clip uploaded. This is the clip I uploaded a few seconds ago, and I think it's up and ready to go. So I have it here, and I need to get it from here to on my computer. Now, the first way, as I said, you can upload in that upload studio. Again, don't recommend it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go on my computer here and go on XboxDVR.com. So Xbox DVR you can just type and it might not take you right to the page but it'll be near the top and it's like HTTPS blah 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 Xbox DVR.com click it and then you can search your own gamer tag so I'm gonna search my own gamer tag Sheldon 905 and then I'm gonna go to clips all right now as you can see this clip the most recent clip hasn't uploaded because it takes some time to get here It takes about like three to four minutes before you can get all the clips but that's fine because these clips are so short you're not going to be making a video with a 45 second clip most likely so I'm gonna go to this clip here that I had uploaded on black ops the one I showed you recently and it's just me playing now you have a few options here you can take a snapshot of a certain point in the video you can take a timestamp um, but Number one is create a download. Creating a download allows you to download the entire clip, the whole 45 second clip, so you guys can have it on your computer. So you can also upload it, just side note, you can create a GIF with it, share it to Facebook, share it to Twitter, tag friends, etc. Now I'm going to click download for this purpose and voila it's downloading. And this might take a little bit longer depending on your internet speed and your computer. But voila, now I have it on my computer and I can bring this file that I just downloaded once I go into my editing software and edit it. Now say if I want to do a voiceover, oh yeah, look, look at me, I'm so cool, look, oh, I'm going to go down there and grab the money bag next and then I'm going to pop a guy in the face, watch this, right? Say if I want to do something like that, really lame. Uh, and you can do that in the upload editor studio, but I recommend you just go like here, click record, record it, and then add it to your editing software of your choice. Um, I have a video on that that I'll link up in the top left hand corner up here right hand corner um, but uh, yeah it will allow you to record that and that's the first option so you got the file of the video on your computer ready to download so that's how you record your uh, gameplay from Xbox to your computer so you can upload it to YouTube for free those are the two ways using upload studio and using the editor, uh, xboxdvr.com. Second way you guys can do this for fairly cheap and give you way more mobility is going and we're gonna go back to we're gonna go back. Oops, we're gonna go back to my Xbox here. Is going here, going to your middle button, uh, guide, and then going over to settings and preferences, broadcast and capture. Now, right now I have it set to internal, and I only have an internal, which is one terabyte, which holds a lot of data for me, uh, for my games, etc. And I only do take short clips, and I delete the clips after I use them after some time. But say if I want to do long commentary videos, or gameplay videos, or just like long tutorials that might take a little bit, bit longer, like playthroughs, etc. Xbox added a feature last year that allows you to take an external hard drive that has to have at least I think one terabyte and it has to be USB 3.0 so you can down uh, capture longer videos in 1080p and I believe it allows you to capture 1080p videos for up to like two hours or something crazy like that which is ridiculous like you'll never most likely use that 
um, for most basic gameplay videos. Most COD matches are 15 minutes, Fortnite matches are 20 minutes. So a whole hour sh consistently is a lot of data. So you'd be able to click this capture location once you pick a, buy a hard drive. You can get a hard drive for anywhere from 30 to like $100 depending on the size and the speed of it. Um, but you can get a $30 USB 3.0 uh, hard drive. Just make sure it's adaptable to the Xbox and you can format it. And uh, you'll be able to upload instead of 45 seconds, two hours, an hour or something crazy like that. So that's the next way you can do it. And then how you would get that content from the actual Xbox to your computer where you're going to edit this is you take it and take unplug the hard drive from your Xbox, plug it into your computer and upload the file from there. And then you do your editing, etc. Now last but certainly not least because this is my favorite way to record my gameplay videos is the Elgato HD60. Now I did a review on the Elgato HD60 a long 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 time ago and I'd like to do a redo on that to see if I think it's still worth it. The answer is 100% yes but I get the HD60S at this point um, but uh, definitely this software with the HD60 is amazing like ridiculously amazing. Like, I can't even explain to you how good it is, all right? Because it allows you to flashback record. It allows you to capture live. It allows you to stream from it. It allows you to add your friend's audio in the game audio. It allows you to add your audio down here through the snowball. You can do live commentary and you can change the settings. You, you have settings specifically for Xbox. Um, you can change the quality. Uh, it's just really a really amazing piece of software. And it's just worth it so much and you can use the HD60 with OBS studio etc but I just recommend when you're recording you can do it here you can also do some light editing and upload straight to YouTube or Movie Maker or download a mp4 file straight from here in a matter of seconds it's really quite amazing but the price tag isn't the price tag of an HD60 uh, Elgato HD60 is around like 120 plus and it sometimes you get them on sale for like one uh, 100 but they're pretty expensive capture cards like capture cards are not cheap and there's definitely the pros and cons but if I was just starting out and I just wanted to check things out definitely recommend the second option with the external hard drive um, just to get used to editing and make content that way and then once you start making money maybe you can invest into this or if you think it's a good enough hobby for you or something that you're really interested in definitely go and get something like this um, the HD60 I 100% swear by it and I'd almost say get the HD60S can't remember the difference too much I think it's just like the frame rate or something like that but um, definitely go with this if you have the money and you're 100% all in um, if you have any questions or concerns or would like to add anything to this video please let me know in the comment section below i appreciate y'all support and love and as always thanks for watching